Hello guys, you are watching this Moto E second generation 3G band which is XG1506 and I have just flashed, mm, uh, I have just rooted and unlocked the bootloader and flashed the Sunnygen mod 12.1 which is 5.1.1 lollipop here is the official one and red and here is the Sunnygen mod version you can see Sunnygen mod guy <laughs> no. a hard game to play so just this is this this is not the official theme uh, by the uh, official theme by the Sunogen mod. I have changed the theme, but it looks like the original one. It looks like lollipop, you know. And uh, it's changed, you know very smooth and um, battery performance also good little um, bit little bit um, power draining uh, of course no. but it's good and one more thing that I have noticed the notification light on this Moto E second generation device here you can see on your Moto E if you have a Motorola second generation device you can see there is a notification light on the camera on camera and the speaker middle of the speaker middle of two these things here you can see on your Moto it is real guys it is not fake uh, when you Flash the Sunogen mod 12.1. You can see the. You can see it is real, guys. It is not fake video. You can go for the 12.1 Sunogen mod and you can try it. So thank you, guys. You can first. can see and one more thing I was saying that um, it has the 29 and I find myself wondering what did happen to the last 10 I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again it's kind of funny that to say, um, the 4G band supports OTG, but there is no support on OTG on second generation 3G band of Moto E. And one more thing, the Nexus 6 and the Moto X that's not officially supports the LED light, and the Motorola second generation 2. So you can check out. It's quite smooth, guys. One more thing. There is a. It's a very, very cool. So thank you, guys for watching this video if you like this then hit ok and like this video if you don't like then press down